Hi, I'm Catherine Ede. For recipes and writings, check out my blog at thebeanpost.wordpress.com. Today I'm going to show you a recipe for an easy snack made with cashews and seaweed. To start off, we have our cashew pieces here. You can grind these at home in any food processor or grinder to make cashew butter, or you can use store-bought cashew butter. And we have some seasonings for this cashew butter with nutritional yeast, some salt, lemon, rosemary. We have some seaweed here. I'm using sushi nori and some vinegar. Any kind of vinegar will work. I really like the taste of the rice vinegar with the sushi nori. So we start with our cashew butter and we season it up. We're going to use a pinch or so of some nutritional yeast. It's going to add a cheesy flavor and a nuttiness that's really nice. About a tablespoon or so of some of this lemon juice. We use some salt and our rosemary. You can season this cashew butter however you want. If you want a Japanese flavor, some wasabi powder is really nice. You can use any kind of fresh herb, sun-dried tomato, bell pepper. The possibilities are really endless with that. So now we just mix this up a bit. Get it all incorporated. This is sort of a cashew cheese that we've just made. You can eat this as is anytime. Spread it on some celery sticks or crackers. But today I'm gonna to show you how to roll it up with some seaweed. So we take this nori piece here. We're just gonna spread a layer of our cashew butter right onto it. We're going to keep it at about halfway or three quarters up the nori. So you see what I mean here? We've spread the cashew butter on most of the nori, but we're leaving some space right up here. All right. Now I'm going to use my vinegar. Just dip my finger in there and spread that along the edge. It's going to help this seal up when we roll it. So we start at the edge that has our cashew butter on it. And we just start rolling it into... Oh, there we go. Might take a little practice. The nori can break. Just be gentle and very patient with it. And then let it sit all of its weight on where you've laid the vinegar and it'll give it a nice seal. If you have a dehydrator at home, this is a great time to put it in the dehydrator on a low setting for just a couple of hours. You can also do that in the oven on a low temperature for just a few minutes. And here it is. You can eat it as is. Uh, it's a great delicious snack. You've got nori and seaweed and I hope that you've enjoyed this recipe. For more information, you can visit my blog at thebeanpost.wordpress.com.